That didn't work out. Okay, folks, today here we're uh, here to look at some inexpensive motors to see how they compare with the uh, with the uh, uh, Sunny Sky 2212s. Recently, I've been having a hard time getting 2212s, and they seem to be back in stock now. But uh, in the process, I was trying to find anybody who made a good quality uh, motor, and I just seemed to not be able to find one. So, uh, when I say good quality, I mean a well balanced motor, uh, efficient motor, and a powerful motor all in one type thing. Um, so, Hobby King, RC Timer, Emacs, they have some 1400 kV motors out there that are, um, you know, average quality. And uh, so, I bought a set of the Emacs. I mean, it, I've, had the, I've had the RC Timer, I've had the Hobby King, they're all about the same quality area for me, at least what I've seen. And um, so I want to I want to do a, a test here showing the uh, amperage pull on hover, amperage pull on full throttle, and um, and the vibration. The vibration is the one thing I found that was just kind of intolerable. So uh, I'm going to show you that too. But uh, this is a copter I just sold to a, a client, and he's let me use it for uh, this demonstration real quick. And sorry for the arms, everything not being tied up, but these wire motors were shorter than the Sunny Skies it was built for. So I kind of had to really stretch everything to make it you know, even fit. So, um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, a test at full throttle and hover voltage. Uh, I'm sorry, amperage. So, we'll see what that is so far. Hold on a second. So, 12.4. Let's try that again. face not good it's called 13 amps we take a uh, full throttle should be wearing some safety glasses for this in fact I'll be right back I'm gonna get some safety glasses in case one of these props explodes all right we got some safety glasses on here so this is a three cell battery Probably the wrong place to hold this ready to hit All right, 56 amps at full throttle. Uh, I know the Sunny Skies pull more, so I'm gonna fly them a little bit and show you the kind of performance it has with a three cell battery. And um, and then we'll, uh, I'll show you what it does without the props on it, the reason I'm not real happy with it. Okay, it's not set up too, too high in the throttle, but here's full throttle. One more time, full throttle. Got enough power to do what you need to do. I mean, but it's not stunning by any means. So I'm gonna take the props off and show you what I was talking about with the balance. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up Sunny Skies and show you the difference. Oh, another thing I don't like is these have these stupid spinner cap things. But you have to stick like a rod in there to take them off or, or you'll jack it all up. The Sunny Skies are the bolt-on, so that's kind of a plus too. Okay, here's a throttle up test, no props on there, and uh, yeah, the sunlight here. Oh, arm it. I mean, you can feel the whole thing just vibrating. I well, can't see it, but obviously it's a little bit of vibration to these motors without props on them. So that's an issue. Also, these motors are getting a little bit warm, but not bad on a, on a three cell. I don't think four cell would be very advisable. So, okay, we're gonna go to the Sunny Skies now. Okay, found a vibration app. Uh, just saw it, give that a shot real quick. So here we go. Thought about a five. It says a uh, rather strong dish is broken. Well, that don't sound right, but either way. So hit a five on the vibration app, and um, so 
we'll try Sunny Sky. Okay, we got Sunny Sky motors uh, attached on here, and uh, thank God. It's... So we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, vibration test first. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's put a little vibrometer on here. All right, it says 2.22.5, well, it is four. Either way, a whole lot better than uh, the other ones were. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test for, uh, uh, see how efficient it is at hover and full throttle. This is the other reason I'm not a real big fan of cheap motors. These are all the ones I broke in the past due to uh, messed up uh, magnets, bent shafts, um, pulled wires, um, just general bad things that happen. Um, so that's the other reason I kind of don't like cheap motors. But let's go ahead and do the, uh, whatchamacallit test, so see how efficient it is on hover. Not much difference, maybe a half of an amp. So let's go ahead and uh, do a throttle up test. So I'm getting about 65 amps full throttle on that. So it's about 15 amps more, uh, which in general means that they have more power. So um, let's just fly around and show you full throttle. All right, full throttle. It's not a huge difference, to be honest with you, on that. So, last but not least, we're going to get a four cell. All right, so with the other cheaper motors, uh, I think we would have detonated them on four cell. So, here's a four cell. Careful, this isn't my copter. So it's a big improvement on um, power. Like I said, I don't think the Emaxes would have handled that too well. Probably would have been okay. It just would have um, that picked up buzzing sound. But the uh, I, I wouldn't suggest it. So in general, uh, hover. I mean, if you're just going to learn and you're not going to go crazy and you don't, and you want to save 30 bucks and go ahead and buy the cheaper motors. On a uh, simple copter frame, they're wood. They're going to handle the vibration better than like a carbon fiber type uh, frame. If it had a carbon fiber fiberglass frame, it might be a, a bad idea. Um, as a parting note here, I had a um, one of these new Hobby King. Believe it or not, I'm going to say Hobby King and a very good product, which is something I normally don't say. Um, I left it on the charger for a couple days and for some reason it completely discharged it down to zero volts uh, and I went through the process of you know recovering a lipo um, and uh, it seems like it picked up most of its power again but I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick run to see how it does that's not bad feels like it's got all its power back but time will tell. It may take a dump after five or ten flights. Who knows? But a normal lipo battery, whenever you fully, um, when you fully discharge it, like down to zero, they're usually something you throw away. And uh, so far, uh, first flight seems to. I don't know. I think it does. It may be starting to peter a little bit. Feels like it's got power. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know, it seems like it's pretty good. I'm, I'll run it for a while and uh, and see if it takes a crap on me, but I've never had one that I discharged down that low that actually would come back to anything worth it all, a crap at all. So, um, in conclusion, uh, I want to pray, uh, tell my customer thank you for letting me use this copter. I didn't crash it. And, uh, you know, it's 30 bucks more for a motor. The nice thing about a motor is that it, um, 
it seems like every month or two, uh, you get a better speed control, you get a better control board, you get a better copter. But you know, the one thing that stays constant is motors. The motors are are useful for, uh, you know, they progress through the stuff without having to be replaced because of something just a little bit better came out. So if you buy a good motor to begin with, I think you're going to be happy in the long run. And also the bolt-on is much better. You can use like a power tool on it to tighten it up and loosen it as opposed to the, uh, you know, this thing where you have to use a, a screwy thing to get, get it on and off. So, um, so that's it. Spend your money in the motors and probably be a happier multi-rotor person, but whatever. All right. Talk to y'all later. See you. Bye.